tanks are ready. Gardening in a hurricane. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus Summit Old Guy Gaming, and uh, we are out and about uh, working on our roadway here and gathering resources and waiting for our buffalo to get back over here. Uh, so, yeah, this storm just came in, and um, we're going to head back to the base and see if our, our glass is holding up okay. Uh, this is a severe windstorm, and as you can see, we still have the worst of it yet to come. Um, actually, you know what? I should be riding this guy. Um, so let's do that. Uh, yeah, so I've just been out and about gathering resources and working on the, you know, clearing the little roadway there. And essentially waiting for a storm to start so we could see how... Um, things we're gonna go with our glass there are you gonna run off don't run off and it does not look like it's going well <laughs> okay so yeah this isn't gonna work I mean, well, yeah. I don't see how it's gonna work. It's gonna say I could try and keep it repaired, but what happens when I'm not around, you know? I wonder though if it was if it was completely enclosed, if it would then be okay. I'm kinda of thinking probably not. Now, why isn't it taking any damage right now during the worst, well, almost the worst part? Something over there is taking some damage, probably the stone foundations. Okay, let's see what happens when the, oh, there it goes, okay, when the black part comes. I'm starting to think this is probably an exercise in futility. Well, the only other thing we can do is make the reinforced glass, but I don't think we can do an, a slanted roof with that. And the roof's kind of the most important part of a greenhouse, you know? Okay, here comes the worst of it. It's doing a number on it. Well, like I said, I mean, it, it could possibly have to do with, you know, just the building not being completely enclosed, but I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> as soon as I repair it, it breaks again. Okay, well, yeah, it's... Like I said, it's kind of not even any point in us continuing to try and repair it. Um, let's take this off of him gonna make us super heavy uh, well yeah like so heavy that we can't even move heavy oh for goodness six there we go 
Oh, I must have been stuck on something. I was going to say, I'm kind of surprised that we can't move at all. All right. So, yeah, I've been uh, getting stone, wood, silica, uh, continuing to make more uh, concrete here. Let's grab at least one stack of that. I want to make 12 more. What are we low on? Yeah, it looks like the silica. That could go in there. Yeah, I just want to put a little more stone in here too. Uh, so we got a big, huge supply of wood here. Clear a queue. And um, let's put the sticks. Actually, I want to put the sticks in here and make more tree sap. A little more bone meal, too. Oh, and we have... I, I made some... I went and got some iron from our drill, and I'm working on more steel as well. Whoops. Okay. Uh, let's put you in here. You still stuck, buddy? Let's get this guy taken care of. Nope, don't go anywhere. Stay with me. As soon as I open the door, these all these critters are going to come flying out of here. Little bacon there. Bacon and white meat. Might as well grab this guy too. Okay, now, can I get you in here quick before the other ones run out? Hurry, 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 hurry. Get in here. Uh, yep, he's in. Okay. Those critters are a pain in the butt. I've even considered letting a couple of them go, you know, one each, because they're just eating my food up. And, uh, kind of irritating. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's put those in there. Uh, we might as well turn the bacon straight on up into crispy bacon. Okay, so this is a no go. This is a no-go, Joe, unless, if you guys happen to know that this would work if I had the whole building set up, then yeah, definitely let me know that, but I'm kind of thinking that's probably not going to be the case. So the next thing we try is reinforced glass, or heavy glass, and, um... I, I don't know what my options are with this in terms of, you know, the different shapes that we can use. Uh, oh, well, let's craft it and find out instead of sitting here speculating. I guess I need to get all the bacon in here. We're going to have to make some more animal fat. Unless I have... Well, i got quite a bit in there. So let's go out here. Well, that's just a little piece of glass. And that's all we get, too. There's no... Uh, there is no changing the shape on that. And it's got to go in a window socket, I'll bet you. Is that really our only option for heavy glass? Okay. 
Heavy glass window. Yeah, I don't see... Is it? I thought... I thought we had reinforced glass in this game, or am I thinking of... I must be thinking of, like... I don't know, Ark Survival Evolved or something. We can't make glass in here, can we? Uh -uh. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks, because they don't... They don't really give us... Any option for a greenhouse. Um, if we were to, let's try something here. Just to test something, let's grab those two walls. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I want right there. No, that's not what I want. Wait a second. This is a double door. I want a double window. Okay, so that would work, but I mean it's it's still not not a greenhouse. I mean, just plain isn't a greenhouse. Oh crap. Well, I guess I mean, I guess we could just leave the garden open. Not sure what else to do. Hmm. Hold to pick up. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you guys let me know in the comments uh, if you have any ideas of how we could make, use glass and make a greenhouse of, you know, of some kind, you know, to get this to work. And maybe it just isn't possible in the game. I know I've had people comment in the past, though, that they've been able to do it, um, you know, somehow, but I, I can't figure that out at this point in time with the weather the way that it is. There's no way, we, you know, if we if we built the whole thing out of glass like I had it, that we'd be able to keep up with it in a heavy windstorm. It's just not going to happen. I mean, I guess the other option is let it all break and then remake it, but that's going to get expensive and be a royal pain in the butt. So I don't really like that solution either. It's not even really a solution. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. But I think... I think we should go ahead and at least replant the crops. There's no reason not to, even though they're not plumbed. They don't absolutely have to have water and or I can manually water them until I get the plumbing situation taken care of. So, did I just put something in here I wasn't supposed to? I don't know. No, I guess not. I don't know. Seemed like a... I maybe did that. Okay, so take a drink of water. I wonder how the glass windows will fare in the concrete walls. See, the thing that I'm thinking is now oh, that's a whole wall. You know, having this glass in this game is almost useless. It, it's like, what's the point if it's just going to break? Why do we have it at all? You know? Because every biome is going to have heavy winds. Winds. So I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my brain around that. <laughs> yeah. 
So why have it at all if it's just going to break in any biome that you put it in? I don't understand. It's not computing in me brain. It's not computing in me brain! So, I think for the time being, this is just going to be a an open garden. Maybe what we will do is put some rails around it, though. Now, the rails will take damage, too, but they're a lot easier to... They're, they're sturdier. Um, oh wait, I don't even need to repair that. And cheaper to replace if one does actually break. So, I'm not really too worried about them. Um... Oh, and yes, I you guys keep reminding me of this in the comment, and I just plain keep forgetting, um, but I've been reminded once again that if we need to put something down, um, we can just deploy it. We don't have to actually put it down on our toolbar yet. And I was also reminded that I can upgrade stuff. I don't have to pick it up and then rebuild it. Um, both things I know, but I just forget to do it. I'm, I guess I'm an old-school survivor, uh, survival gamer, and I'm used to... Putting that kind of stuff on my toolbar. Well, a lot, of, most of the other survival games I play require you to do that, so it's just a habit. But I do appreciate the comments, nonetheless. I appreciate all you guys' comments. Thank you very much for leaving them. Uh, that needs a little tiny touch up there. Okay. So, yeah. Um. Why don't we get this planted? And I don't think I'm going to do it. Well, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take these down and just hang on to them. I felt that they were kind of too thick and bulky for this anyways. So we're just going to hang on to these. And if you guys have other ideas for me, let me know in the comments. And let me know if you've been able to successfully do a glass greenhouse in this game and how you did it. I'm curious. I'd like to know because it doesn't seem apparent to me that it can be done. Um, all right. So what I do want to do, though, is I want to make some rails to put around the outside of the garden. These reinforce rails. So we're going to need iron ingots and wood and iron nails. Let's pull a bunch of those out. And I'm going to put actually put them in here. Let's also swap out our lantern here. Oh, we might as well sleep too. Make it daytime. Make it daytime, baby. Um, all right, so nails. We need nails. Let's grab the nails out of here that we currently have, and maybe even a, one more thing of wood. So as uh, as I just said, we are going to have to... How many of these can we make? Oh, iron ingots. We are going to have to be mindful of these during the heavier storms. They will take damage, but... I think they'll probably be able to survive them. Uh, survive the damage. Iron ingots. Those are actually up here. Plus we need to drop off this glass. We could put this piece of glass in here. I'd like to try normal glass though first because it just looks so much better. Um, oh. We need to make more glass. Okay. So let's grab, I don't know, three stacks of those. Now how many can we make? Eight. How many do we need? We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 20, 21, 22. We're going to need a total of 22, I think, if I counted that right. So that's going to give us nine. We'll start with that, and then we'll see where we're at. Let's put this extra... Oh, wow. This is just jam-packed. 
right now. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's refresh all of our fuel cans. That's right, we don't have the fourth Ginny set up right now, so... Okay, what are we doing? Uh, we're putting... We're putting these fences down. Oh yeah, I didn't count account for this walkway either, which I want to do, so... I think it'll look nice. Alright, what, what else do we need? More iron. Oh man, this is going to really take our iron, isn't it? We're going to... Yeah, this is going to seriously use up our iron. I think I need to go set another iron drill down. Oh, you know what? I've never actually been back to the cave after we did the thumper to get the ores there, so I'm sure there's going to be quite a bit of iron back there, so maybe we should run over there and do that. At some point, we're going to try the thumper again, too. Yeah, I think this I think this will look nice. We could even Hmm. Yeah, probably not. Never mind. Scratch that thought. Scratch that thought. That's not too bad. Okay, let's get some crops replanted. So, grab carrots, corn, potatoes, squash, watermelon, and soybeans. I think what we'll do is we'll make these four soybeans. And then see we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we need shrooms too. All right, let's put the soybeans back in here. Okay, so we have six more things to plant. So let's see if we did three, 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 and th yeah, we should be able to do three of each at least. And I might even do four corn. So, oh, what am I doing? No, put that there. Let's start with. Three corn here. And then we'll do three carrots. Three squash. Okay, let's leave that one unplanted for the moment. 
We'll come over on this side and we'll do three mushrooms. And then we need three pumpkin. Okay, I'm gonna move the corn over here and make these watermelon. Oops, yeah. Okay, that should do it. So yeah, that was perfect. That's three of each, except in four soybeans. Um, all right, now let's water. We'll just water by hand until, like I said, I get the plumbing put back in, which will be the next thing we'll start working on. Well, the plumbing and the power. back up yeah like that if you get a little little bug not a big deal there okay everything's watered and we managed to do that without getting get a parasite well okay what I was thinking was maybe making like a little almost like a gazebo kind of thing over the top of that but it would have to be pretty open and airy to not block the sunlight. Let's have one of those and one of those and one of these. I'm going to have to make some more pies. Why do I have... Oh, wait, what? Hold on. No. You guys all go back in there. Pumpkin. Uh, we have a full stack of pumpkin. Yeah. So yeah, we could um, we could maybe try and some do some kind of a gazebo type of setup. Uh, but here again, we'd have to build it out of concrete to make it impervious to the storms. So I don't know. Let's let's just leave it the way it is for now. It, it kind of it looks nice. I think. Do you guys think it looks nice? Not as if you can actually tell me. You can tell me in the comments. I am, you know, we're not going to put these rails all the way around here, too. But that's going to take a lot of iron, so we'll work on that as time goes on. But, uh, yeah. Let's go with that for now. Fan-friggin-tastic! I love it when a plan comes together. Or, in this case, not, but we're doing the best we can. Okay. Let's put that in there. Have you used up some of these? Yes, you have. Okay, so now we can put those in there. I think our next order of business is to start working on the pump house the utility house pump and power pump and power baby um, all right so that is going to come out this way so we're gonna make a stairwell going down there um, I want to I want to put it here because then it's right in the center of the house and it'll be centered just like the garden is on this side. How noticeable that's going to be? Maybe not really noticeable, but potentially noticeable enough. Okay, there isn't... I want a foundation underneath there. Okay, can we... 
There isn't a deploy option there. Does that mean we deploy it from our inventory? Is that how that works? Yeah, okay. So I guess you can't deploy it from a workstation. You have to have it in your inventory. Okay, let's jump down here. Oh, you little bastard. You too? Alright. Is anybody else coming after us? Yes, look at that. Attack of the Piranhas. They should make a movie about that. Oh, they did. Whoa! Man, they're all over the place. I think we're we're clear for the moment. Yoo okay, deploy. Um, yeah, it's fine if the arrow's going that way. I'm okay with that. And I think that's it. I can't really tell which direction the arrow's going here because it's buried. I think it needs to go like. Why won't you rotate? Oh, that's right. We have these foundations. I forgot about those. Those are kind of cool looking. Um. You know what we could do? I can't. Well, no, okay, here, let's do this. Let's grab that. Now, do, whoops. Turn it this way. No, not that way. You're gonna do everything except for what I want you to do, right? Yep, that's exactly what you're gonna do. Go the, oh, there we go. There, all I had to do was just complain at it for a little bit. You know, ow! Uh, you know what, though? I don't know if I'm actually going to like the way this looks. Well, we can't put it there anyways because we have the ladder there. Let's go look at that from afar and see how we feel about it. You're not a piranha. Why are you chasing me? Oh. Freeze frame. Hmm. Seriously? Now it's not even working with shoot from the hip? In real life, that would be not even close to too far away for this rifle. It would be perfect range. Jeez, bear! What the hell, man? <laughs> wow. Okay, that was kind of embarrassing. That was in bear a scene. Okay, I'll stop while I'm ahead. You guys are all thinking, I didn't even think you were ahead, man. Alright, let me look at that from over here. That's actually, I kind of like that. We could do those all... It, it, hmm. We might have to come up with a different solution for the ladders. But that might look good if we do that all the way around the base of the house for the walkway.
Okay. Have to give that some thought. Possibilities. Possibilities and options. Alright, any more piranhas? We swam too close. Oh. Did one just bite us? Two of them. Well, we're, we're gathering up fish for uh, more fish curry. Okay. Okay, let's leave that the way the way that it is for the moment it is super handy having these ladders here though so I don't know there's there's multiple ways we could do it though so we'll just have to kind of figure it out right kind of figure it out let's put that in there and that in there um, I want the fish to go in the freezer uh, we need to eat anyway I'll turn that into curry later, um, after we make some more pies later. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm in here to get... No. Um, what am I here to do? Uh, go up here. Yeah, I want to get this. And I want to make... We could just use the concrete beams that we already have for the poles. Mostly because I think it'll look better. But the other thing we have to consider is how big does the shed need to be? It needs to house... Yeah, we could probably get four jennies in a 2x2. In a two two, just kind of looking at how they're fitting on the floor here. I Well, actually, can we? Yeah, I think we can. Um, I wanted to do pumps too, but pumps will need to be in the water. So we might have to, we'd, we'd have to put the pumps outside anyway. Unless... Well, we know for sure we're going to need four of these. I want to look at something. I had, I had a thought. Can these guys go vertical? No, I'm sorry. I mean like long ways vertical. That's angled, right? That's angled the other direction. Half ramp left, half ramp right. Okay, what I was thinking won't work then. I was thinking of... No, it still could maybe work. Actually, it still could maybe work. Well, I was thinking about putting a... Having an opening in the center of the floor to put the water pumps down into. Hmm. Something to think about. Possibilities, ladies and gentlemen. Possibilities. Okay, let's grab those. We need to replace that with concrete. Uh, all of these will be replaced with concrete eventually. Uh, I'm, you know what? Though I'm not going to do that right this second. So, let's go. Right click, 
deploy. And we want that to be stairs. Okay. And then... We had one foundation under those stairs. So just for symmetry, I want to do the same thing here. Not for necessity, but for symmetry. How many more of these can I make? Oh, we need screws now. Okay. Oh, here, let's just wait for that one to finish. Okay, we'll take those back up with us in a second. Okay, so I want you to... Yeah. Except for which direction are you turning? I have no idea. If it... If the cross pieces are... Parallel to the house, then the, the arrow's going the right way. It's not even doing it. You know what? Screw it. Doesn't matter. We're not going to be able to see it anyway. Damn thing's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay. Now, we want the cross pieces to go that way and that way. Um, okay. We went out, how many blocks did we go out here? Our tiles, one, two, and then we started the build on the third one out. So again, to keep the symmetry, we're gonna do the same thing here. Um, oh. My monitor's acting weird. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and stick this there, and that there. Does that is that touching? Yeah, it is touching. They both are. Okay. That one can go there. That one can go there. Man, these fish are just really. All over it today, aren't they? You know what, though, we are we're gonna need to do a three by three, anyways, if we want it to. Well. Yeah, we're we're gonna. This is gonna be a three by three. It's just the way it's gonna be. Otherwise, it won't be even on both sides, and that, my friends, is not acceptable. Come on, get up. Okay. Uh, oh, my head got stuck in the in the thingy. Okay, go straight up, and then up, and then... Nope, that's not going to work. Okay. I'll have to go back up this way. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a... There's, there's no way for me to center it is, is what I'm getting at. Uh, what we could do, though, is we could make it a... 
Maybe a two by three. Yeah, that might work. Maybe make it a two by three. Okay, so if we're gonna do that, we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more pillars. Uh, which we'll have to make. And we can only do two more. Uh, well, we need to make more steel rebar. Of course we do. Um, okay, so let's see. You should have steel. Not a ton. I guess we still have some steel in there, too. So we said eight more of those. Let's get those done first. And you know, now that because we're doing that over there, I might end up replacing these at least the top stone pillars with concrete too. Of course, then the <laughs> then the rest of the base though has concrete pillars over here. It's, it's purely aesthetics. I mean, these stone pillars are, are fine under the water. They don't take storm damage at all. Oh, you know what? I got an extra pillar right here. That I was kind of looking at lining the sides with. Did kind of make it look nicer, though, didn't it? So many resources. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to do concrete pillars on that side and... I might, at some point in the future, upgrade the other ones, and I might not. I'm not going to force myself to do it one way or the other. It's optional, and that's just all there is to it. How did I make 10 of those? I thought I only wanted to make 8 more. Oh, and, and I got 12. Look at that. Okay. Can't take them anywhere. Uh, all right, so now we need if we're gonna do a two by three we need three more of these I'm starting to wish that I would have stuck with stone now just for to keep things consistent, but We've already started this, so it is what it is. Um, oh, you know what? I probably didn't. I probably didn't overmake those because I forgot we we're gonna have to stack some of them. And okay, that one's touching, all right. I definitely didn't overmake him because I completely forgot this side. Didn't I do that last time too? Hey, at least I'm consistent. We actually need three more. Unless... I wonder if we could get away with... taking the ones out of the center. This isn't going to be a, a large building, so we might be able to actually make that work. Is that... no, that's not quite all the way underground. Nope. That doesn't go there. Yeah, I think that works. 
Wait, how did that foundation... <laughs> what in the heck? That's, that's supposed to be one of these. Come on, snap. There you go. Okay, so now the plan Let's talk about the plan after we get rid of this poison Let's grab both of these Okay, so we have We currently have we need uh, We need four Jennies Okay, so we could do a Jenny there, a Jenny there, a Jenny there, and a Jenny there. And then we could run... What I'll probably try to do is I'll probably try to, as neatly as possible, run the wires underneath. So have them, you know, come out underneath and then run them under the deck here and then up into the house. Um, one thing that I'm not sure about is can we have multiple generators feeding a single cable run? You certainly can do that in real life, uh, but I've, I don't know that I've ever actually tried that in this game. Because if that's the case, then we, you know, we only need one main line coming into the house instead of four separate lines. So, uh, okay, so two there, two there. Now there's another thing we could maybe do. I want to have... I want to have two water pumps, one dedicated to the garden and one for the house. But the water pumps need power, so I still want to keep the pumps with the jennies and run and just run piping over here. But what I was thinking is let's grab these again. Let's also sleep. Oh, it's not quite 1,800 hours yet. Okay. So let's pick... ...you up. And I'm just going to do this with stone for now, but if this works, we'll, we'll actually use concrete. Make this a flat piece. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then... Let's go grab another foundation. Okay, so let's grab this. This is what I'm thinking, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Oh, wait. That's not on that foundation. Oh, well, that's fine, though, actually. If it'll just hang down like that. Um... All right, let's pick that back up for a second. So we don't even need a foundation there. Oh, that is awesome. Check that out. Okay. We might even be able to put three water pumps in here. One, two, three. Well, I bet you we can. We don't necessarily need to run all three of them. Um, but if we put three in, we'd have it if we needed it, you know, kind of thing. Oh, that's great. I figured I'd have to have this sitting on top of a foundation, but 
It'll just... hook up right there. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. That uh, worked out better than I was expecting it to. Okay, so we'll we'll upgrade this to a concrete piece. And then, of course, we'll enclose it. It'll be a, it'll actually be a little hut or house or shed or whatever. Yeah, that'll work out great. And then, yeah. Uh, two power genies on that side and two power genies on that side. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Um, all right, guys, I think that is it for this episode. We made some pretty good progress. Um, let's, uh, actually, you know what? Before I completely let you go, let's, uh, let's just see how well these fence rails fare. Um, this is a, gonna be a fairly nasty storm. So, so far they haven't taken any damage. And we have... These are ready. Gardening in a hurricane! That's what I'm talking about. Those haven't taken any damage. I thought those took a little bit of damage. Carrots are done, too. Those aren't quite ready. Those are ready. They must have changed these. Either that or having them attached to the concrete um, makes them impervious to storm damage, because I could have sworn these used to take storm damage. That's really good news, though. Uh, we are getting another really bad spot coming. Oh, shit. We're, we're like, hurting. <laughs> Let's get the house. All right. Let's just see if we see any damage numbers pop up as this red part goes through. Okay, good. So those don't take damage at all, you guys. That is fantastic! Oh my goodness, that's loud! Beautiful! Okay, cool! Close the door, man! Were you born in a barn? Whew! <laughs> that was a pretty gnarly storm! Heavy rainstorm! This window is 100% durability. Okay, cool. All right, well, now we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. That's loud. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.